Good morning lovelies, my name is Simone Lee and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've been doing laundry and drinking chocolate milk. I bet you didn't know that. So today we, I'm going, me, 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 I'm going to be showing you what I've picked up from my latest, uh, what my latest buys are. Um, so first I'll be showing you what I've hauled um, over the past, I guess, couple of weeks. Um, some. Actually, I haven't used for once. I've been patient with myself, except for the couple I picked up today. They were just really good buys and I wanted to use them. And then after, I'll do a first impression on the beauty products that I picked up from, the, from my haul. The first thing that I've collected is a cotton tip and ball holder. <laughs> cotton tip and cotton ball holder that I got from Kmart for five bucks. Um, it looks like this when it's all put together with all your junk in it because I leave shit everywhere and I need this for my organization. I'm a bit of a freak for having things organized. I'm more like one part of me is an absolute messy bogan and then the other half's like got OCD. So I just tend to swing between the two personalities. The next thing I got is I got these bath they're just towels, like little towel sink things. I always sit down to put my makeup on, so instead of using all the towels that I have, I've decided to just put one just for makeup. So that's what they are for. I got two of them, obviously one I'm using already. It was six dollars for each of those from Kmart. It's just weird shit I buy. The shit that just ends up in my shopping cart. <laughs> the next things I got from Kmart were these two, they're tumblers for my makeup brushes because I, they're literally lying on my bedroom floor because I'm a grot. It's the grot week, not the OCD week. <laughs> two of these and they were $3 each, again from Kmart because I'm there all the time. The last thing I've collected from Kmart over the last couple of weeks was this, it's so cute. It's actually a USB stick that I use for putting um, all the space on my laptop back onto because I'm running out of space. So it slows down my laptop and this helps when I load it up and then take it out and delete files. My another, my another purchase was this diary that I got from Kiki K. It's super cute um, and it's a financial year diary. It comes with all these cute pages. I always start my year on the financial year because it's closest to my birthday. So when I've had a birthday, I always tend to reassess my life and my goals and I want to just aim higher and get a little bit better, you know, otherwise what is life about? Um, and then yeah, I just start planning things again and getting back into the swing of things. Well, I try to, like I try really hard and it normally lasts about four weeks and then you just like <laughs> back back to where you started. No, I'm kidding. Um, so that was, I think I got it for 20% off at Kiki K. It was about $28. To complement the diary, I got these cute pens as well, also from Kiki K. These guys were $13. These guys were 10 bucks for the pack of four. I also got pens because my second job, I'm a waitress. So I'm a bit of a dipshit when it comes to remembering things and when it gets really busy on a Saturday or Friday night, I always write down like food like orders and stuff like that. So I wanted really cute pens to make going to work that little bit better. I don't know. The way I think sometimes is pretty it's just So I went and sniffed a few um actually I didn't even research this decision at all. I just picked it up. It was a new Rexona sexy bouquet. It smells of strawberry and apricot and anything that says sexy on it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so there. So if you need a new body spray, I recommend this one. Um, how can I recommend it? I've literally just gone from perfumes to this, but I do like it. Um, it was it was $7 from Woolies, the Safeway little supermarket here. Oh, it smells really good. It's really good. I've used it during the week and because I bought it last week and it lasts throughout the day and it doesn't leave bite marks or anything on my clothes. Motion sense. Does this mean I'm an athlete because I wear Rexona now? 
No, it does not. I've been mad crazy on the hunt for an affordable salicylic acid body wash because obviously I want to use it quite regularly and I don't want to spend $50 on it. It's not a body wash, but it's a free your pores um, by your Bure, sorry, I don't know how to say it. Um, deep pore charcoal cleanser. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't think it says it's not just for your face, but yeah, it does. But whatever, because I've used it on my loofah and scrubbed myself from since the past week, and it's amazing. And it's got a really lovely cooling, um, kind of like minty effect when you're um, scrubbing. <laughs> this is so weird, I'm describing my shower experience to you. If I'm next video broken out in red, just rashes and everything, then well you know why guys, because I didn't follow the care instructions, but if it's good, um, I'll definitely recommend it. I'll keep you posted on that one. I don't die. The next <laughs> skin purchase thing, thing that I got was Cocoa Butter um, Palmer's Formula. So it's a skin therapy oil. Um, it's essentially just a rose hip oil I tend to put on before moisturizer. I'd run out a while back. No, I didn't. I dropped the bottle and I smashed it everywhere. Get it from Priceline. Um, this one's actually uh, visibly rejuvenating for dark lines, uh, fine lines, dark spots, wrinkles, uneven skin tone, and that aging skin. I am heavily into anything anti-aging lately since just turning 25. So get around it. My next Priceline purchase was the Australis, this Australis lip pencil, which is um, the color Tickle Pink. I've seen the amazing beauty blogger Brittany Lee Saunders using this color, so I wanted to give it a go. This is it here on my lips today. I really love it. Oh my god, opened up my whole world in the way of nude lip colors. It goes on really nicely, it has strong pigmentation, and because I like to draw my lips out a little bit more than what they are, um, tricky, it gives great color for that, so you can slightly go out. I wouldn't go too far because I don't think the color is as strong as lip colors I, I consistently use, um, but great, great color. I love that. The next purchase I got from Priceline was the Savvy Long Wearing Lip Liner. I went in to get my favorite color of all time of that, which is the chestnut color, which I absolutely flog and thrash, and they had run out, and I could not be bothered going to another price line to get it. So I've got the bare lip liner to try, which I'm going to put on now. Can I just say, I absolutely hate these plastic things that they use to seal lip liners and lip pe or pencils and shit with because you cannot get the shit off until like oh this is not the same as my normal color I normally get the pencil and chestnut and this actually has like a little crayon thing It goes on quite strong. Like the pigment's pretty good. You'll have to excuse me as I have a massive pimple on my lip that I tried to conceal from you guys. I'm actually in love with this lip color. It goes on so nicely. It's easy to control with the little crayon um, twist top. And the pigment is bloody amazing. Love that. Four or five dollars from Priceline by the brand Savvy in Bear. My next beauty purchase was the, the eyeliner that I'm wearing um, in this teal color. It was two dollars from Big W and it's actually amazing pigmentation. You do have to color it on like a few times to get that color kind of happening on it. Otherwise it's really good. It's a beautiful teal color. One of my favorite colors. So get around that if you need a nice jade color to do some different looks with. My next big W purchase was this cotton candy lip smacker. I used to collect these when I was a kid. 
I'd lost um, my cupcake chapstick, so I really love yummy scented lip balms. I've not opened it yet, that's how patient I've been the last week, so. Oh my god, it smells amazing. $3 from Big W. The next thing that I bought from Kmart again, I forgot about this one, is um, it's a blush stick. So I've just ripped it open by the brand OXX, which I have shown you I've used a little bit in the past. It was $2 from Kmart and I've not yet used it. This is what color it is. It's called Plum, but it looks like, that to me looks like a baby pink. So I'm confused. So again, I'm going to take off my lip color and pop this on and we'll see what it's like. That is so not plum. Goes on like lovely. I would actually use that. Now it looks a lot more wearable for me. I've just used that same savvy lip liner that I had on just before and done around the edges and through the corners to make it more of an ombre look. So that blush stick I've just made wearable with the savvy bare lip pencil that I just showed before. Just around the edges and coloured it in slightly. Um, I'm so ecstatic with my purchases now. These are really nice looks. I'm super excited. I've not been into Mecca before because I like little cheap and easy little beauty buys. I don't go out and hunt for things lately. I have a lot of makeup so I don't need a lot but I heard the rage about the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and oh my gosh I am so in love. It is fucking adorable. It looks like a chocolate bar when you take it out. This way, Simone. When you take it out. That on the inside. Let me see what the color is there. Oops, my window. Oh my god, the pigmentation is amazing. The colors I cannot wait to use more of. As you can see, I've used the hazelnut and the hot chocolate today on my eyelids. Just blended them kind of like one down the bottom, one up top. The pigmentation is crazy amazing and I literally just got a beauty boner over everything right now. I'm so excited. Beauty products make me so happy. I just, whatever, it just, that's what does it for me. That's it from me today guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up um, and let me know what you'd like to see more of. Um, I'll be doing more, more and more every week. Um, so stay tuned and yeah, I'll see you around. If you want to see more of me as well, I have my Instagram and Snapchat accounts down the bottom in the description area. So thank you so much again. I'm Simone Lee. Bye.